In this unit, we will learn to set up the global properties for time domain simulations in Interconnect. We access the global properties by selecting the root element in the element tree. We have already seen that the sampling rates for both optical and electrical sources are inherited from the root element by default. The exception is the ONA, where the sample rate is defined locally by default using the frequency range parameter. To understand the various simulation properties available and how they are related, let's take a look at an example. In this example, the time window is set to 1.6 nanosecond. The bit rate is set to 1 times 10 to the 10 bits per second. So, the sequence length is 16 bits, as it's calculated as the time window times the bit rate. The sample rate is set to 6.4 times 10 to the 11 hertz, so the number of samples is 1024, as it's calculated as the time window times the sample rate. Note that 1 over the sample rate is the sample period, which is the time between samples. Special care must be taken when setting the sample rate, particularly for transient sample mode simulations. We'll provide tips and tricks for setting the sample rate in the sample rate unit of the transient sample mode simulation setup tips subsection. The equations shown here describe the relationships between different simulation properties. You can review them by following the link to the knowledge base page, which is provided below the video. Given these relationships, the signal sampling can be fully described using only a subset of the properties. The simulation input property of the root element can be used to switch between which subset of properties are active. The options are sequence length, time window, and sample rate. Refer to the same knowledge base page below the video for more details about these options.